Today we are going to be talking about my two favorite tools to use together to find profitable products and hopefully by the end of the video you guys will be experts on product research and you guys will be finding your first product in no time. So now let me take you guys on the website and first I'm going to show you guys how they work separately and then I'm going to show you guys how they work together. Now let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are on the website and the link to this website will also be down below in the description under tools I use. It will say AMZ Scout for product research. Click on that link and it will take you to this exact page. So the first tool from AMZ Scout is going to be the AMZ Scout Pro extension. So the Pro extension is pretty easy to find. You just scroll down all the way on the main website homepage and you're gonna see the two options here. You can either pay monthly or pay the lifetime subscription. If you're very limited on money, I would go with the monthly but if you are going to be in this for the long run and you know you're going to be doing this for a while then I would definitely get the lifetime and then uh, that's pretty simple just hit buy now for whichever option you want and then you will be able to download the pro chrome extension and I'll show you guys how we use that in just a second and then the other one is going to be uh, right up here you're going to go to our tools and then you're going to click on web app so it's going to take you to a pretty identical page to the last one we were just on except this one's going to say web app right here uh, so all we have to do is same thing scroll down until we get to the pricing options, which is gonna be right here. So you can either pay yearly or pay monthly. Uh, right here, you can turn that on and off. Some people forget to do that, so make sure you check that off before you do it. Make sure you have it on the right setting. So if you're paying monthly, this is gonna be for people on a limited budget once again. And if you know that you're gonna be doing this for a long time, then you can go ahead and do the yearly option and it will be cheaper over the long run. Now, as for the package options, we have three different packages here, the basic start and business. I would recommend uh, getting the start right here at $39.99 uh, cause you get to track 40 products. And if you look at it this way, the more products you track, the faster you can find your first product because you're able to get more results, more data faster. So if you're on a limited budget, once again, it's totally fine to go with the basic option. And if you want to speed up the process at which you are finding good products then I would go with the business right here so that is pretty simple once again you just buy it and then you would get access to the web app now let's get into the actual tools and show you how they work separately and then how they work together okay so let's go ahead and click a few of these let's do beauty and personal care we will do home and kitchen health and household we can also do kitchen and dining pet supplies sports and outdoors patio lawn and garden and that should be it for now uh, you don't want to do too much because you're going to get overwhelmed with the results so definitely just pick i'd say five and then you can always move it around if you're not finding any uh, options that you like and now down here we have the product tier and this is going to be where you pick your standard or oversized products whatever you want to look for some people like to look for bigger products because you can make more profit on them but they cost more money to start because if it's a bigger product usually it costs more to source it from china and you're going to need more money to do that obviously because you got to pay for the products so you can sell them uh, and then the other one is going to be the standard option which is going to be smaller products that are going to be a lot cheaper so a lot more of you guys are going to be able to afford the standard size option that is what I recommend to go with and eventually you can go with the oversize once you get your uh, business going and the money starts coming in uh, over here on the right after the product here is going to be the seller type now you're going to want to click FBA that is going to be the seller type that we are selling as fulfillment by Amazon so FBA sellers are going to be just like me and you now right after product here we have seller type and I recommend that you guys click on FBA that is going to be the seller type that me and you are going to be uh, which means Amazon's doing all of our shipping and our customer service and everything like that so all we are doing is organizing basically with our computers uh, then I would also select merchant now the reason we select merchant is because merchant sellers do not have prime shipping prime shipping is only offered to Amazon listings right here and FBA listings that we have so I like to click on merchant because it's gonna show us merchant listings that we can possibly beat because we have better shipping than they do and we also have some other small advantages being FBA sellers so once you have those two clicked, now we come on to the fun stuff, which is gonna be on the right-hand side. And these are gonna be the filters where we can actually dig in and put filters on to find the product that we exactly want to find. So up top is gonna to be price. This is gonna be a pretty important category because if the price is too low, then often it's pretty hard to make a profit on that product. Uh, and then if the price is too high, a lot of new sellers who have a limited budget aren't gonna be able to source that many units to start because it's gonna to cost too much money. So there is gonna be a good sweet spot in between. I would do 17 all the way to 52. 
And then over here on net, we can leave that blank. Rank, we can leave that blank. Estimated sales, we are gonna fill this one in. This one's very important as well. So these are gonna be monthly sales and we are gonna put a minimum of 250. So once again, you can mess around with these numbers. You don't have to follow them exactly as I say. You can make this 200, 300. It really depends on what you are happy with and what your goal is. And if you guys are confused on what your goal is, what your strategy should be based off of how much money you have to start and whatnot, then you guys can go down below and click the first link in the description. It is gonna be my course and mentorship, and I will walk you through the entire process from start to finish, helping you find your first product, checking everything you guys need, and you guys can ask me as many questions as you want, and also the course covers everything from start to finish. So make sure you guys go down below, click on that link, and it will have a video on the homepage you guys can watch, and it will give you more information. Information. Also, if you guys wanted my email before you get in, right here where my cursor is, it says askrileyturner at gmail.com. You guys can send me an email there and ask me any questions about the course or mentorship before you get in. And of course, I would be happy to help you. So now let's get back into it. Uh, next, after we do the sales, we are going to want to go skip the revenue and go down to the reviews. So reviews are going to be kind of the opposite of sales. Sales, we want a minimum, but we want no maximum because the bigger the sales number, the better. Uh, for reviews, it's the opposite. So we are not going to want a minimum because the lower the review number, the better. That means there's less competition and we want a maximum of you can do 50, you can do 70. It all depends once again on your strategy or what you're happy with uh, the outcome being of your business. If you're happy making 3000 a month or 10,000 a month, these things will play a factor into what you are searching for. So I would say 50 to 100 or even you can go as low as 25. It all depends on what your goal is. Now after reviews we have rating this one is pretty good because uh, we once again don't want to have a minimum and I would do a maximum of four and the reason for that is because we want to find listings with below a five-star review count because we want to compete with these people if every seller that you're competing with has five stars then it's gonna be kind of hard to compete with them because they're not really messing up or there's nothing to beat them with because they're already doing pretty well but if we put our maximum as four stars, then we are looking at listings that are not perfect and we can beat them out. For now, I'm gonna leave this blank, but that is just a side note, a pro tip for you guys to take in. After that, we have weight. This is gonna determine how expensive your shipping costs are gonna be. So the higher the weight, the higher the price for shipping, obviously. So we are gonna want to do two pounds and below. That is what I usually recommend. Now, all the rest, we're gonna leave blank. This is gonna be pretty broad right here, but we can get more strategic with these other boxes. But for now, we're gonna keep it simple not overwhelm you. Once we have all this filled out, we're going to click on apply filter and it's now going to show us our results. So here are all the results based off of the criteria that we just listed. And you can see this comes up with a ton of good information for us and it even pulls up charts and we can also break down the fee numbers on it. So this is going to be extremely powerful and we'll probably make a whole separate video on this of how to read this and look into this further. But I'm going to show you guys how to use the two tools together because that is what is so powerful. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down for a little bit until something catches my eye. Once something catches my eye, then I'm going to search it on Amazon and show you what the next step is. Okay, so I found a product that could be pretty decent. It looks like a handheld water uh, fan that sprays you or miss you because it's hot and it is doing $299,000 and 9,000 sales. This is pretty good and it's the price range of $31.99, which is a very good price range. The fees are $8, which leaves us huge room for profit. And also it's only 0.41 pounds, which is way less than one pound because that would save us a ton of money on shipping. So overall, this looks like a pretty good product so far. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to click on the link. It will take us to the actual listing on Amazon and that is where the Chrome extension comes into play. Okay, so here we are on the actual listing. And let me tell you, it is a terrible listing and they're doing $300,000. So the title is absolutely terrible. They only have two pictures and they should have at least five, I recommend. Uh, they also have horrible bullet points. This is not how it's supposed to look. And I bet you the description is probably pretty bad as well. Yes, it's about two sentences. So this listing is really, really bad. They have zero reviews, which is great for us because we can compete with them a lot easier. I teach my students how to get 10 reviews right when they launch pretty quickly. And that can be within your first week. And that means you would automatically have a better listing than this seller right here because you would have 10 five-star reviews and this person has zero. So that is why it is so important that you know how to optimize listings. And that is something I teach to all my private students as well. 
well. So if you guys want me to help you optimize your listing and give you advice on how I would improve your listing, then that is also something that I offer with my mentorship and course. Now, what we're gonna do is the next step, we want to run the Chrome extension for this product. So after you download it, you're gonna get your Chrome extension right here in the upper hand corner, or you're gonna get it down here where it says AMZ Scout. You can click either one of these and it will pull up the Chrome extension numbers for this product. Okay, so at the very top, you're gonna see the averages, and I did a video on how everything on this extension works. So I will leave a card up top and you guys can click it if you want to learn in detail how this whole thing works. So basically, I'm gonna make it simple. We look at the average sales, it's 1,000. 1229 which is very very high and that is good and then we want to look at the price which is average 56 which is extremely good because that leaves us a lot of profit room especially because the weight on these products is so low and the average reviews is only 123 so based off of first glance this would be an outstanding product but it looks like it might be seasonal that is why you need to be careful and make sure you catch it before the trend takes off because let's say summer's about to end and then you just start selling it maybe it becomes winter and now nobody wants these so this would be an awesome first product if you were to catch it two months prior and if you guys don't know one of my best products i've ever sold was a trending product that i caught months before the trend happened and that was one of my best products and that is why i teach how to catch trends and how to catch seasonal products to my students because these are going to be the main products that will make you a ton of money especially if you have seasonal products throughout the year so maybe you have a winter product a summer product a valentine's day product Product, Christmas product and that would be a great goal to have so if you had 10 different products and they all have a different season throughout the year you would have constant income throughout the year and if you picked a good seasonal or trending product that would be a huge income because some of these products like I just showed you making three hundred thousand dollars which I'm sure most of you would be pretty happy with and once you guys dig a little bit deeper you can look at the individual listings how much the prices are you can see how much the estimated sales are how much uh, reviews each listing has and you can do a lot more too also the listing that we found that one i just showed you with the black spray water bottle thing it is also a merchant seller meaning they don't have amazon prime shipping and we can beat them in that way and we can also get more reviews than them very fast so this is why you need to know what you're doing because in this business knowledge is definitely power and that is going to be it for this video guys once again the link to these two tools is down below in the description under tools i use and it will say amz scout for product research and also the first link in the description to to my course and mentorship is there as well you guys can check that out that's it if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys go down below click the like button if you learned anything new also make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time i upload a new video and last but not least leave me a comment down below let me know what you thought let me know if you have any questions and i respond to every single comment so that's going to be it guys i will see you if you email me to get into my course or i will see you if you comment down below or i will see you in the next video and i will catch you guys next time